Hello, I bring to you car vibes. Um, sometimes I, I sit in the car and create music, ride around, get ideas. So I say, why not do my interview in the car um, where I get creative at times. I go by Nick Nicole from Newark, New Jersey, singer-songwriter. And my music background is I'm a church girl at heart. Um, I grew up um, doing background vocals for my uncle. He started me into music house music um and that's what really piqued my interest the whole creative side of everything how how everybody plays a important part for the great good at the end so yeah my uncle pretty much introduced me into music and inspired me a lot with instruments and just the creative side of everything that goes into it So what make me want to do music? Um, it's therapy. Not only is it therapy, I just love to be creative. Um, to tap into your emotion, to tap into your feelings. It's not, it's no greater feeling to me personally. Like to put my emotions on, on top of music that can touch people, that can probably be a breakthrough to someone else or someone can relate to what I'm going through. It's just a great feeling. Yeah, that's like gratification to me. Um, what infl Who influenced you? Who influenced me? I grew up the era of like uh, the SWZ, the Escape, the Involve. Um, Lauren Hill, who I love, like she's like at the top of my list. Like Lauren Hill inspired me to want to touch instruments. I haven't touched them in a while, but she inspired me to like at least try. Um, and the people that I named, they music you can you can plug them in any music site or streaming and you can still feel the lyrics you can still understand where they coming from you can still feel it's like i remember that time in my life that's the music that i want to create i want to create the music that 10 15 20 years from now you can still relate to it it's still it's still meaningful it's still relevant you know it could still it could still pull you through a tough time um Um, what I think my music convey, um, I just I just like to make. I'm not gonna say grown folk music, but I want to make music that's meaningful. I don't I don't like if if it don't make if it don't make you move or it don't if it don't touch your heart or it don't. I want to convey a message that 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 you can feel. Pretty much, you know, I, I want I want you to feel every everything that I'm saying. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be just just noise. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I don't want it to be just noise. I want to convey, you know, truth, hurt, um, growth. Yeah, that, yeah, that's Nick Nicole. Um, yeah, who was what inspired me to do music? What inspired me? Who inspired me is Lauren Hill and all of the the latest greats. What inspired me is the feeling that I get when I when I when I go up to people that that understand my music that say you know what I really love your sound I really like that message that you that you sung when you when you sung sprung which is one of my singles out shameless plug when 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 you sung sprung I felt like I remember that time when I when I would do anything for my mate or I'm sprung now like. I'm so in love with you know the person I spend the rest of my life that I'm that I'm spend the rest of my life with, like that that moves me to be like you know I'm on the right path. Let me let me continue to touch people. Let me continue to to connect. That's pretty much a connection that I'm making with fans and I'm making with people that don't know me, that eventually will know me. So yeah, they kind of inspire me to keep going and, and and do music. What I hope to bring to the industry is realness. I want to bring R&B back. I want to bring harmony back. I want to bring back, you know, that feeling that you felt 
when you was a kid and you heard your favorite song come on and you want to run to the radio and turn it up like that's the feeling I want to bring back to the industry I, that's the music I want to that I want to bring back into the industry like I'm not going to say that you know the industry is dead but that heartfelt moments and that 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 feel it's kind of watered down a little bit I want to spark that fire up a little bit more get that R&B vibe back going it is some people out there that's you know that's still doing it I just want to add to the ones that's still doing real R&B um what makes you different what makes me different is um I mean I feel as though I'm in my own lane I feel as though I'm not trying to jump on no bandwagon or sound like what's out I do what feel good for me what feel good to me um I like to be I want I wanted to be authentic I don't want I don't want to sound like the next person and I, I think that I have my own sound I think that you know it's a little edgy a little neo soul but it's mine yeah I think yeah I think I think that's all right um what are your past projects and achievements um well my past projects i got three singles out right now um one is fuck love one is sprung and the other one is fog um self-explanatory fuck love fuck every fuck, you know the, you know you've been through a relationship and after that after a while you get to a point and you're like you know what i can't do this no more fuck love sprung it's like i do anything for you and I'm so in love with you. And fog is pretty much um, a lot of you sometimes to hurt the, to not hurt your feelings, to kind of soften the blows. So those three things is it's been an achievement, but I don't think I re I reached like the greatest achievement. Like I still have a lot of work to do. And um, getting from out of the studio into being the actual artist on stage is an achievement also because I was just a writer. Um, looking for a placement, looking for somebody to be like, all right, I want to pick that up, but I couldn't get nobody can, to convey the message through my music that I wanted to, that I wanted to hear. I didn't get, I couldn't get nobody to like deliver it correctly. That's a good thing. That's a good way to put it. So I had to, you know, I had to step out in front, out, out of the studio in front of the people and do it myself. So being the artist and the writer and producing my own music, my vocals and everything, that's 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 big for me. Um uh, what projects are you currently working on? Well I'm always working. Um I'm in between of I'm in between dropping another single or E P. I just wanna get the ball rolling a little more before I put out um an EP of music with like great music and it falls on deaf ears so I'm I'm trying to figure that out right now I don't know which way I'm gonna go with that but right now I got three singles out I don't know if I should work on a fourth single or put out a fourth single or put out an EP um um pretty much yeah and just to give a little more background on myself is I started off listening to old R&B, 702, like I said, SWV, Destiny's Child, and Vogue, Lauren Hill. I learned how to write by listening to their lyrics, and after every bar, I would pause the tape, because that's, that's when we was listening to tapes back then. So I pause the tape, I write their bar down, and I will remix the bar that they wrote, but, but make it have the same meaning. And that taught me how to be a writer, that taught me how... To um, write my music, how to, how it should be standardized, um, and when everybody playing outside, I was in my room with the door closed, trying to figure out like how do I write bars, how do I write music correctly, and this is at the age of twelve, and I'm still writing and I'm still waiting for the world to hear what I have to say. I'm still waiting for my breakthrough. Um, I feel as though I have a lot to offer. I'm I'm a unique, confident, down to earth artist. So yeah, I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for my opportunity. I'm patient. I'm waiting for my opportunity though. And I like to give a shout out to um 
leave the plug get connected he's been awesome so far um shout out um industry all access and hope to um see you soon i hope you see me soon i hope we meet each other soon and thanks for calling out